Hi guys, I'm David and today I'm unboxing Shinies from now on, their greatest hits or compilation album, whatever you want to call it. So I'm doing this unboxing on this um, newly released album because I actually want to listen to it and I want to watch the documentary on it. So let's start. So here's the cover. It's still um, closed. And I know all, all these details here, they are um, taken from all their covers and concepts from their Japanese discography. I'm not, um, I don't know most of them. <laughs> I'm not very, I, I know this is from Replay. And I think somewhere here it's the, one of the X from um, DDD. Uh, but I'm not look so maybe it's around here. So this is the sticker that's um, engraved here on the plastic. Well, not like placed in the plastic. This is the A edition because it has a Blu-ray. Okay, so here's the spine. So two CDs, a Blu-ray, a photo book. Here's the bottom. Japanese, there's nothing here, and well, you can tell here, this is the photo book, and here is where all the discs are. This is similar to um, how most of their earlier limited editions albums re were released, like Replay was like this, and I think Juliet or Romeo, well, here's the track list. Now, I'm going to say something a little bit controversial. I'm not their biggest fans of the Japanese discography. They are... Um, maybe I'll do another video about it, but... Some songs are just generic, and some other songs are very good. I think their last album, Five, was very good, really good, but it's not their fault. It's most, it's most like creative decisions that I believe they are the band members are not in charge of because there's there's a bunch of difference between not the visuals not the concept but the songs which I care the most it's like there are two different bands if you listen only the Korean or only the Japanese but if you want me to give my thoughts about it tell me in the comments so Here's the track list of City One. Here's the X of DDD. Here's the City Number Two, which I'm very excited about this song. When I watched the fan videos of, of the performance, I was blown away more than I was blown away about the song. Like the drop was unexpected. I really like it. And we have the documentary of Shiny War 2017. So it's around 97 minutes and yeah I'm gonna open this yay So, then this is the photo book, and here's here are all the discs. They came out like this, but these are the covers. I haven't seen any, I haven't watched any other unboxing videos of, of this release in particular, so I don't know the contents, like the photos or the disc, the the art. So. Shiny from now on. Same track list but a different background. J 
So here's disc one, good old there. Singles. Here's disc two with all the alternative versions and unreleased songs. And here is uh, here's the Blu-ray with the documentary which I'm planning on watching tonight after listening to the songs so here's how the this case looks we have credits right here okay I'm gonna place this again in their case holder <laughs> okay done with this so let's take a look at the photo book so it's basically the same as this one yep okay this is not plastic this feel very Kind of like car box paper. <laughs> I don't know which is the correct term, but it's actually it feels exactly the same as the replay. Replay that their Japanese first release. It's basically the same model. Nah. <laughs> So this is replay and the lyrics of the song and the photos are from the photo book of the Japanese release so maybe these are all like recycled pictures yes Juliet's yeah same I don't know if it's like um, the photos from the cover but at least these are the photos of the photo session of the photo book We have Julian. So we have Lucifer. I really like the um, how the lyrics are are not like the, your typical just like regular line. They are mixed kind of like following the concept of. Of, of yeah of the art of each single I think it's very clever and creative <laughs> tagline I'm usually not the biggest fan of earlier uh, like the first releases of most K-pop bands, but I think Dazzling Girl is a very good one. Well, replay too. This one doesn't have lyrics unless it's like they are going kind of like uh, I think Boys Meet You was the first album 
if I uh, if I recall correctly. So that's why maybe that's why it is like boys means you pages, not like the song. Yeah, because this is the song. <laughs> Three, two, one. I'm not the biggest fan of this song. <laughs> now, everybody, now this is one of their best songs, and actually, I prefer it in Japanese. And I, I heard first in Korean, and I love it. But then I hear it in Japanese, and it usually doesn't happen. But with this song in particular, I prefer it in Japanese. star downtown downtown baby <laughs> this kind of looks like a clothes clothes catalog Yeah, so, yeah, so this is more like, it's separated on, well, the track list is, it's like a timeline of their singles, so, this is like, first album, second album, and your boy, actually, this looks better, like, this design looks better than their covers, I think their covers are just, this cover, like, the one that, it has a woman seated and all of the guys, all of the guys, like in line with flowers, it's not good. It's it's a bad picture. <laughs> the album is good, but the cover is not. And actually, this looks way better. Your number. This is a great song. I really like that song. And then sing your song, which to me sounds like a Robbie Williams song. Yeah, I... It's very like Euro acoustic pop. So yeah. <laughs> and then D D D dance dance dance, which I I check on the internet how you pronounce this album. Uh, it's a good song, not their best, but is one of their most energetic. And then we have, yeah, the album. So it was only two singles and then uh, album release. Didn't know that. Then notice it. Around this time, it was it was when I became a fan when they already released this this album. So Kimi no say that. A very good song actually. The melody is very great. It's very good, I'm sorry. And then Winter Wonderland. I don't like this song. Well, I don't hate it. I think it's nothing special. Any shiny song, if it's not special, at least it's good because of their voices, because they have great voices. But like the production or the arrangement and all that stuff, eh. Get the Treasure, a very good song. And the music video was is great too. Okay. And then all those singles are in this album 5, which I consider this their, maybe, if not their best album, one of their best Japanese albums. At least to me, this is way better than DDD. Way better. And then we have the new song. Wow. <laughs> this picture for this song as a cover for the lyrics like this. It's too much. <laughs> this looks very cool. 
it looks great it could be like the cover of their next DVD and then oh so it has the lyrics of the songs of fair second of the disc number two I mean cool This for, this one is the one I'm most excited to hear, like in quality, in studio quality, because it was great. <laughs> I have your number. Can I get your number? Then married to the music, the Japanese version. Version. Melody. I don't remember this one. I need to hear it first, the original version to appreciate the other one. Diamond Sky, which is a very good song too. And finally, Replay, which is a great song. As I said before, I'm not the biggest fan of the earlier releases of most K pop bands, but actually, Replay is a very good song. Very, very good song. and that's it so i actually got the poster so i'm gonna open it for you so i look at city japan and the poster is already um well not sold out but they don't have any more so let's look at this So here's the poster, which is just a clash of most of their covers, or if it's not a cover of one of their Japanese releases, it's just a picture of the concept. So there you go. And yeah, I'm gonna keep supporting them. And their comeback in this month actually which i'm very excited about so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one bye